Good afternoon. Welcome to another of Ealing Library's Local History YouTube videos. Today we're in South Hall and standing in front of South Hall's water tower, sometimes known as South Hall Castle and one of the most prominent landmarks in South Hall. Now of course it is not a castle, and never has been. In fact it was built in 1883 by the Middlesex Water Board in order to supply water from the Thames via filtration plants in Staines to South Hall. It would have, have, a, have a tank in the water tower which could hold 265 gallons of water. The outside of the tower is of course for decoration. What was happening inside was, was the important part of it. Now in 1969 the water board decided that the water tower was no longer needed so they wanted to try and sell it. Ealing Council were happy to buy it because they wanted to demolish it and build a new school on the site which is 11 acres. Certainly Soundfall did need more primary schools in the 1970s and since the building was not a listed building it could be demolished easily without any problems about planning consent. Other groups were also interested in purchasing the tower to use for other, other reasons. For example, a Pakistani welfare association based in Southall wanted to purchase it for religious reasons. A Sikh group also wanted to buy it and it was also suggested that the tower could hub a community arts forum. In 1978, the tower actually appeared on TV, or it would have done if the episode of the Professionals TV series that it was filmed in was not deemed far too controversial, so therefore can only be seen on DVD. The Professionals episode in question was called The Clansmen, and it deals with racial prejudice and the possibility that there may be a British Ku Klux Klan terrorising black people. In the TV episode, one of the characters, Birdie, played by Lewis um, Collins, is, um, sh is filmed inside the water tower, being beaten up by some criminals, and later in the episode, his colleague is shown entering the water tower, um, and is also shown as being attacked as well. The inside of the water tower is shown as being very grimy and, um, um, and, and pretty awful. In the same year, 1978, as the episode, the water tower was sold to the Middlesex Housing Association. The Middlesex Housing Association wanted to convert the water tower into flats for people who would find it otherwise difficult to get onto the housing ladder, mainly um, couples who did not have children or single people. Eventually it was converted into a block of flats of four storeys and 38 flats. It was a cooperative scheme wherefore people would rent the property but they would be involved in the decisions of the housing association as to what would happen to the, um, to the water tower. Um, so in 1982 work began on converting it into flats and it was finally open in 1984. It was, it was worked upon by Burlings Way Construction Company and one of their employees, Ron Bartholomew, said it is the most unusual project I've ever been involved with. Southall Water Tower is, as I said, a landmark and can be seen by many people leaving Southall Railway Station and unlike the gas works it is still here today thank you for watching the video please remember to hit the like button and to subscribe to the youtube channel thank you